Tay, and guess what? I'm back with another video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. This is a question that needs to be answered and is long overdue. Should you or should you not rent a cargo van to do gig work as well as use a carrier company? Today, you're gonna to find out. I wanna give you guys all of the information that you need to know to make that decision, and I'm not gonna make it for you. So make sure you stay tuned through the full video and put me on your big screen video. Let's go ahead and get down to business. So, guess what? This is your, your very special day. You no longer have to do any research and find out if you should use a rental van because I did, we did all of it for you. You don't have to do anything but watch this full video and give me a like button and smash the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Now, we have five different cargo van choices that you can choose from. And we're gonna start off with this. Number one, the number one company is Penske. Now, with the Penske truck, you are gonna pay $29.99 per day. And just before we get into that, None of this is including taxes because it varies per state. So I couldn't put the taxes in there. So again, with the Penske truck, you're gonna pay $29.99 per day to rent out the Penske van. You are also going to pay 79 cent per mile. So you gotta think about that too. And then they also have insurance that you must have. You have to have this insurance in order to rent the van. The insurance is $50 a day. And then they also have some other little fees that's gonna add up to $7.50. So, all together for a Penske truck, you are gonna pay $87.49 a day, not including tax, miles, or gas, because you must pay for gas too. If you don't know, now you know. And then we have option number two. Option number two is U-Haul, of course. Everybody love U-Haul. They trying to go out there and ball and not stall. Now, for a U-Haul, you are gonna pay $19.95 per day. Then, you also have to pay 69 cent per mile. Next, of course, you have to have some insurance. The insurance is gonna cost you $11 a day, and then they also have a $1 add-on fee. I don't know exactly what the fee is for, but it's $1. So, all together, for one day with a U-Haul, you are gonna pay $31.95. And then we have number three. Number three is budget. I guess if you want a budget, you want to get your budget. I'm going to give you guys the numbers on that one. With a budget cargo van, you are going to pay $19.99 a day. Then you are going to pay $0.79 cent per, for every mile you drive. You also have to have this insurance. Now, this insurance is a little bit higher than other ones. This insurance is $53.98 a day. And they also have a $4.50 add-on for some fees. So for a budget cargo van, you are gonna pay $78.47. Van number four. I know you wanna go out there uh, and score. Get to this money, but we never ignore. Van number four, we found it on Turo. And it is actually a Ram Promaster. And for this Ram Pro Master, you are gonna pay $125 a day. I know, I know, I know. It sounds like it's very steep. Like, why would I pay $125 when I can pay $19.95 for a U-Haul? Let me explain to you guys what they got on Turo. For this Ram Pro Master, you actually get a free 200 miles. So you don't have to pay for the miles. So you're gonna pay $125 and you get a free 200 miles. It's automatically included. Anything additional after the 200 miles, you are gonna pay 63 cent per mile. You also must have the insurance. The insurance is gonna cost you $31.25 a day. And then they also have some additional fees, which these are kind of steep to me. $45.82 for the additional fees. I don't know what that covers, but this is the additional fees. And again, none of this is including tax, so it depends, again, it varies per state. So, for a Ram Pro Master on Turo in my area, you are going to spend $202.07 a day. And last but not least, option number five. We also found option number five on Turo as well. You may not want a Ram Pro Master, you may want you a Ford Transit. We got one for you on Turo. Now, for this Ford Transit, you are going to pay $90 a day. 
and this also does include 200 free miles you are going to have to pay 45 cent for any additional miles you go over the 200 and you're going to pay 22 dollars and 50 cent for insurance which is not bad and they also have 31 dollars and 25 cent worth of fees so all together to run out this Ford Transit on tour, you are going to pay $143.76. Again, not including taxes. Now that you saw all of the options you have individually, we also have to show you how it looks all together. So you go out there and run up this cheddar, and you're going to find out which one will work best for you. And we have a chart, and on top of the chart, we do have examples of added miles. So y'all about to go out. Uh, put that right there. Y'all see the chart, the chart is right on the screen. So the best bang for your buck, as you can see in the second column, it says per day with fees. I would say, well, from the numbers, it says the U-Haul is your best option at $31.95 with the fees. And your worst option will be the Turo Pro Master at $202.07 per day. Now, as of right now, I'm sticking with the U-Haul, if I'm you. I'm sticking with the U-Haul, but it's going to change when you start adding on the miles. And don't think you're going to drive five, seven miles. You're not. You're going to be driving 100 miles, like probably like 100 miles a day, uh, 60 miles a day, 100 miles a day. So we have the graph to 100 miles a day. Now, with the U-Haul, once you add on 100 miles, you are going to pay $100.49 a day for a U-Haul with the insurance and you drove 100 miles. Do not forget that you must, my friend, drive back to wherever you picked up the U-Haul. So you gotta include that too. You gotta include from going to your house, doing whatever you're doing, going back to your office, you have to include all that stuff. And don't forget, you also must pay for gas. So, again, that's the best option when it comes to the vans. You're, I would go with U-Haul at $100.49. The worst option would still be the Ram Pro Master from Turo coming in at $202.07 a day after everything. That's not including gas again or taxes. So now that we're done with a 100 mile column, we're going to just jump right over. We're going to skip 200. We're going to go right to 300 miles because you're trying to get as much money as you can so you can pay for this rental. So I got you right now. We're going to jump over to 300 miles. Now with the 300 miles, I would say the best option from the numbers is going to be the Trent the Ford Transit from Turo coming in at a hundred eighty eight dollars and seventy six cent for three hundred miles. That's not bad, I don't think. And a worse one would be budget. Budget? No, I'm wrong. The worst one would be Penske. They're trying to get them bins, G. Penske is going to charge you three hundred twenty four dollars and nineteen cent for three hundred miles. Look, it's up to you to decide whether it is worth it to you or not. Not only did we give you all the numbers, we also have some examples of some things that we actually did this last week that we just uh, went out. So we have one that is gonna be a load and two roadie orders. It's a shorter a shorter run and two roadie orders. And then we have another one that is a longer drive. And we're gonna give you the best option, the best bang for your buck, the best option for what we are doing at that time. So uh, we got chart number two, what it do. If you hate, forget you and your crew. On chart number two, we got the breakdown. We have example one. On example one, we did the one load and two roadie orders. And all together, we drove 101 miles. The best option for this would be U-Haul. So if you get a U-Haul van, you're gonna drive 101 miles, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck at U-Haul. Our payout, how much did we make? Because we still gotta make money in order to pay the rental off. That day we made $192.95 and the rental expense would be $101.18. Also, you have to pay for gas. The gas is going to the gas cost us $21.88, so you will profit. This will be you'll be in the green. $69.88. I need you to comment below and let me know is that worth it for you or not? This is something you gotta think about. I'm not making a decision for y'all. I'm just giving you guys the information and you make the decision. And if even if you in the comment section and ask me, well, so what would you so what you think? I'm not telling you because that means you ain't watched the video. You have to be able to go out here and make your own decisions. Example number two, we had one low. Why did she only have one low? We only had one low because it was kind of a far drive. So this one low was 247 miles all together all together we drove 247 miles that's from my house 
to the pickup to the drop off back to my house. 247 miles. The best option would be the Ford Transit from Turo. That would be the best option because don't forget, you get that free 200 miles. You get the free 200 miles, it's included. The payout was $204, so we made $204 on that load. And then the rental expenses is $164.91. And then we had to pay, fill up the tank again, $53.52, which we were left with profit of $21 and 57 cents that's what we left after after everything and that's the best option for going that many miles so as you guys saw a looks are deceiving sometimes you see them cargo vans them u-haul vans they say 19.99 on you think i'm going go, i'm only gonna pay 20 dollars. i'm gonna go out here i'm gonna get busy I, i'm gonna have to put 20 dollars in gas it's gonna be 40 dollars. i'm gonna go do this and then you find out that actually when you out there in the field for real and you really dropping these miles that we found out that U-Haul is not always the best bang for your buck, especially if you're driving in further miles. So if you're driving in further miles, we found out that the Turo, trans, the transit uh, from Turo was better for us. But is it all worth it for you? I gave you the information. Is it really worth it for you to profit $21 and some change for doing all that driving? You drove, I drove 247 miles altogether. Is it really worth it? I understand that everybody wanna get out here and get busy and get this money and you think that you're gonna see, you're gonna catch you a lick, you're gonna get you a U-Haul, and then you're gonna go out there and get busy. I'm gonna let you be the judge of if you should do it or not. That's up to you. I ain't in your pocket. I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't do. I'm just here to provide you guys with the information so you can make the best decision you see fit and go out there and get a grip. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to smash the like button. This is the best thing on YouTube. Ain't nobody ever did this whole rental breakdown like this. I ain't never seen it. If I'm lying, I'm flying. But comment below, maybe you have seen it. Let me know if you've seen it or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in on our next one because we're going back down because we ain't playing around because all 2024, all we doing is pull up to uh, let's go get it popping like Crisco. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know this, DDK, and I'm on my way.